Hey guys, Gvidas from Surfshark here, back with another tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up Surfshark VPN on your Asus router. If you're curious about why you should set up a VPN on your router, make sure to check out this video. And as always, if you enjoyed these tutorials, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, let's begin. Firstly, you will need to download the server configuration files. You will need them to connect the VPN server on your router. Here's how to get those files. Open your browser and head over to surfshark.com and log into your account. On the left-hand side, select the Manual Setup tab. Then, on this page, click on Locations. Now you will see a list of various VPN server config files. At the top, you will see the fastest and the nearest locations for you. But if you want a different location, just use the search bar or simply scroll down to choose the server that you would like to connect to. For this video, I will connect to the US New York server. Keep in mind that the closer the server is to your actual location, the faster your connection will be. To download the configuration file, simply click on the location you want, and now you will see another pop-up. Here, select which protocol to download. Open VPN UDP or TCP. UDP is usually faster, so I'd recommend choosing that one, but if you're experiencing any issues with UDP, try using TCP instead, as it can be more stable. After downloading the configuration file, leave this tab open, as we will need it for a later step. Now that we have the server file, we can begin connecting to the VPN. Let's first open a new tab on our browser by clicking the Control key and the T key together on your keyboard, or you can just click the plus icon to open a new tab. We will now have to log into the control panel of your Asus router. You can do that by entering your default gateway address into your browser's URL bar. On screen now, you can see the most popular Asus router addresses. So try each one to see if that opens the control panel for you. But if the login page still doesn't open, try looking up your default gateway on Google based on your specific router model. If you have entered the correct default gateway, you would see your router's login page just like this. You will now have to log in. If you have never set up your router before, try first entering admin for both username and password. You can also try just the username admin without any password. If these don't work, try checking the back of your router for credentials. When logged into the control panel, look on the left side. Here you will see the VPN tab. Click on it. Then here at the top, click on the VPN client, and on this page you will manage all your router VPN connections. We now need to add a location to connect to. So select Add Profile, located at the bottom of the page, and click on the Open VPN tab since that's the protocol that we are going to be using. Under Description, type in the name of your VPN profile. This can be literally anything, but in my case, I'll type in USNYC so that I remember the location of the VPN profile that I've made. Now for username and password, we will need to go back to the Surfshark website again. Router connections use a set of manual credentials instead of regular registered email and password that you use when buying Surfshark. These credentials can be found on our manual setup page. Since I have a tab of Surfshark website open, I'll just return here. Now to find those credentials, just switch to the Credentials tab. You can easily copy and paste the username and password by clicking this clipboard button. Then just go back to the router config tab and paste those in. Once that's done, you will now have to add the configuration file that you downloaded. Click Choose File. A prompt will appear asking you to select the config file that you want to use. Select the directory that you have downloaded the server file to. By default, it should be in your Downloads folder. After selecting the config file, click Upload. You will see a complete message. This Import the CA option should be left in ticked. Then just click the OK button, and your VPN connection is ready. To connect, click on the Activate button. Once a connection is established, a blue check mark will appear in the Connection Status column, indicating a successful connection. And just like that, you have now connected to the Surfshark VPN on your Asus router. Asus's default firmware gets major props from me for making this very easy. If you would like to have another connection configured, let's say for a different VPN location, you can just add another profile by clicking this Add Profile button again. Now, even though you got the blue check mark when connecting, it is essential to make sure that the VPN connection is working properly. So let's do a quick test. Open a new browser tab and type in surfshark.com forward slash what is my IP. Here you can check if your IP address and location match the country your router is connected to. For me, it's showing US NYC, so it seems like it's all good. And that's all I have for you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you have any questions, contact our customer support team. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And in the comments below, let us know what kind of Asus router you have. But for now, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.